Hi friends. So this week we continue our discussion by Dr. Prefold Dixit on the underlying concepts of p-value and null hypothesis significance testing. In this series, while trying to establish the importance of null hypothesis significance testing, we are first trying to address the underlying concepts to gain a richer understanding of the topic. Now over to Dr. Prefold Dixit. Hi friends, this is Dr. Prafula Dixit and in the last video we discussed uh, the uh, significance or the p-value in terms of the probability of choosing a non-representative sample or uh, choosing a representative sample but by chance. Now uh, this chance represents our lack of confidence in our results uh, with respect to uh, some assumptions based on the population characteristics. So we can say that this uh, probability of drawing a sample which has the characteristics of uh, the variables or the attributes being measured which are drawn by chance and not represent actual characteristics of a population is called statistical significance. We can also recall from the previous video that this probability of the statistical significance is measured in terms of what is known as the p-value. It is, it is in fact uh, the inverse probability of the confidence we have in the concurrence of the study assumptions and our results. So p-value of uh, friends is a contrarian concept uh, which helps us detect uh, the most probable results uh, by uh, being minimized. You know, uh, if uh, the uh, significance uh, is minimized and uh, on the flip side, the confidence is maximized, we get the most optimal results. So we can also uh, recall from the previous video that uh, the results are measured, uh, results are expressed in, 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 in two broad terms, that is the measure and the importance of the results. And the, uh, it, it, they can be expressed in terms of the effect size and the p-value. And uh, further, uh, uh, we, we can recall that we posed a question for the last session for this session and uh, the question was if p-value denotes or measures the statistical significance of the results what does effect size or the relationship size matter now this is an important anchor in our understanding of the whole concept so uh, let me explain this uh, uh, this uh, question the answer to this question uh, through some very uh, graphic interesting examples okay so the first example scenario is uh, from the field of sports and that is uh, the the sport of shot put and uh, here is this uh, this guy mr blue who is a very good shot putter he practices regularly and keeps himself in the best shape for the sport and as you can see he's, uh, he's practicing he practices really hard and it is believed that uh, he can cross the red line and uh, you know the red line which is actually we can assume that it is x meters and uh, uh, the green line is x minus 10 meters and the blue line is x minus 15 meters from the point of throw so uh, now this is uh, this crossing the, the red line is a necessary condition to qualify for the state level competition next month. Uh, now uh, Mr. Blue has certain uh, uh, admirers and, and a huge fan base so who want him want to see him at the state level and they are confident that he must automatically qualify. Uh, there are certain skeptics and there are certain people who are opposed to this and and they say no. Or what is the guarantee? Uh, now we want want to. Um, uh, to test him you know so they, they want to test him so they put up a test and they ask him to show up at uh, the local uh, shot put ring and they they throw and they ask him to to throw shot put 100 times to prove that he can do it now he's asked to throw the shot put uh, uh, at 10 days for the 10 days and uh, 10 times a day right so uh, he agrees um, and he reaches the ring very next morning and he starts the trials and his results for each day are recorded. Now, so now Mr. Blue is there uh, at the, the, the ring and he's throwing and he throws 100 times and out of the 100 times the results show that uh, uh, he's crossed the red line uh, 80 times the green line 15 times and the blue line five times so now since he crossed the the red line in majority of the cases uh, we can safely assume that he crossed the red line uh, or x meters consistently now this is the effect size of his shot putting ability or practice 
and his probability of performing up to the mark is 80 percent which is good enough which is consistency of the result and our confidence level in the assumption proven by an extent of uh, 20 percent you know which is the significance level or the probability of not performing as assumed and uh, this probability of uh, uh, not performing as assumed we want this to be minimal right now now let's recap this a bit uh, okay so here we have a brief summary of the whole scenario and the results uh, and the scenario is that mr blue is a good shot fitter and uh, is it is uh, assumed that uh, he crosses the red line of course the red line is x meters and green line is x minus 10 meters the blue line is x minus 15 meters and uh, the results uh, the, the test uh, on the assumption uh, that has been set up is known as the 100 throw test uh, now the results of uh, the test show that uh, in terms of the number of times he crosses the line he crosses the red line 80 times he crosses the green line but not the red line 15 times and he crosses the blue line and not the red and green line five out of 100 times so overall uh, the the more effect size uh, of uh, uh, this result uh, that we have here is is x meters plus some meters that is x plus meters okay because he's, he's crossed the red line and the confidence that we can have in our results is very good it is 80 percent um, the significance level is which is a complement uh, concept of confidence is has to be 1 minus 80 percent that is 20 percent so now how does this relate to uh, our uh, our initial question that we posed uh, we can say that uh, the results are expressed in terms of the confidence or the significance level that is uh, 20 percent and uh, they are also expressed in terms of the effect size uh, which is x plus meters in this case now both these things are complementary and they go together hand in hand to describe our results uh, uh, whereas uh, the effect size measures the the substance uh, of the results uh, the significance level measures the importance of the results now since uh, the substance of the results and the uh, significance or the importance of the results are in fact uh, two sides of the same coin they're basically measuring the same uh, a common property of the results and which is the extent of importance of the results uh, we basically have uh, in colloquial terms we can say that importance uh, which is also called significance we can say that uh, significance is of two types right and what are those two types so uh, the first type is uh, the substantive significance uh, which is measured by the variable attribute or the statistic which is also called the effect size the second form of uh, uh, significance that we are measuring in terms of the results is the statistical significance which is measured by the p-value okay now uh, uh, there are certain examples of effect, effect size uh, that is mean difference uh, or zeta value t value the regression coefficient etc uh, we also have a question for the next session and which is uh, the examples uh, if you can think of examples of p values uh, do do do, do uh, think about them and we can discuss in the next video in the next video, we'll uh, discuss a COVID-19 scenario, which is a global problem now, and it is a pandemic we are all fighting. And we'll discuss the results in terms of what are termed as the null and alternative hypothesis uh, with an example scenario of COVID-19. Till then, uh, have a good time, stay safe, good day, bye-bye.